Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see how to change a white background to color. We'll change the background from this to this. Let's go over to Photoshop Elements and get started. I'm using Photoshop Elements 13 for this video. We have this retro couch on a completely white background. Let's start by duplicating the background layer. We can do that by pressing Command J on a Mac or it would be Control J on a PC. Now we have an exact duplicate of the background layer and it's named Layer 1 by default. This is the layer that we'll make our changes to so that the background layer will remain safely unchanged and intact. I'm going to go over to the toolbox and make the Magic Wand tool active. It's located in this lower right corner of the Select section of the toolbox, but it shares that space in the toolbox with other tools. In my toolbox, the Quick Selection tool is currently showing in that spot. Whatever tool is showing there, go ahead and click on it to make it the active tool. Then you can go down to the Tool Options at the bottom of the window and choose the Magic Wand tool by clicking on it down there. It looks like a wand with a yellow star at the end of it. There's some other options we can choose down here. For this project, I'm going to make just one other change. I'm going to uncheck the box that says Contiguous. The way the Magic Wand Tool works is you click on a color in your photo. Whatever color you click on will become selected. What contiguous means is that you want elements to only select the color if it's connected to the spot where you clicked with no other colors in between. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to recheck contiguous so I can show you. And then I'm going to go up to my image and click on the white background. You can see by the marching ants that the entire area outside the couch is selected. But notice those white areas inside the arms. Those areas didn't get selected because they have the wooden arm separating them from the rest of the white background. I'm going to undo the selection. And now let's uncheck Contiguous. I'm going to switch over to Photoshop Elements 9 so you can see where those options are located in older versions of Elements. Here we are in version 9. First, notice in the toolbox that the Magic Wand tool looks a little different. It's smaller and not as colorful as in newer versions. Also, it doesn't share its space in the toolbox with any other tools. And the options are at the top of the window instead of the bottom. Let's find contiguous and uncheck it if we need to. Now I'm going to switch back to version 13. Okay, so we uncheck Contiguous, and I'm going to click on the white background again. This time, the white areas inside of the arms were included in the selection because we told Photoshop Elements that we wanted the color that we clicked on to be selected throughout the whole image, even if it's not connected to the area where we clicked. Go up to the Edit menu and choose Fill Selection. A dialog box will appear. In the Contents area, there's a drop-down field next to the word Use. From that, choose Color. That will open another dialog box. This is where you can choose your new background color. Experiment in this window by using the slider on the vertical color bar to get the general hue that you want. Then you can fine-tune it by clicking around in the big square to the left until you find a color you want, and then click OK. Now click OK in the Fill Layer box, and you should have your new colored background. All that's left to do is deselect the background. Do that by going up to the Select menu and choose Deselect. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command-D on a Mac or Control-D on a PC. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, this is Rick from Essential Photoshop Elements saying take care.